Hi everyone, Luke here from Apple Online Academy. If you remember, in the previous video, I talked about how to format the disk to be compatible with both Mac and Windows. But I have a feeling that I didn't really explain much about the formats. Well, if you really need to just format your disk to be compatible with Windows, go check the other video. But if you are interested, what are the other formats for? What is the difference between APFS, macOS Journal, XFET, FET? Then keep on watching. And don't forget to press the like button if you enjoyed this video. And also, if you want to know more about the Apple devices, I'll be happy to welcome you between my subscribers. First I'll connect an external drive again, and I'll show you what are the possible options. Choosing a file system today is basically choosing between these three options. The other factors and subcategories like encryption and case sensitivity aren't really something you should bother that much, but I'll explain it further in the video as well. APFS or Apple File System is one of the new features in macOS High Sierra. It was first released in 2016 and it offers all sorts of benefits over macOS Extended, the previous default. For one thing, APFS is faster. Copying and pasting is much faster, also reading a metadata is quicker. For example, if you need to find out how much space a folder is taking up on your drive, it will be much faster. There are also a number of reliability improvements, making things like corrupted files a loss less common. So what's the catch? Well, it's reverse compatibility. That's a problem. 2016 macOS Sierra was the first operating system capable of reading and writing to APFS systems, meaning APFS is optimized for the flash SSD storage used in recent Mac computers. Yes, it can also be used with older systems with traditional hard disk drives HDD, but the compatibility will not be that great. So if you have an older Mac you need to work on, APFS is not the best choice for the drive. And forget about reading an APFS drive on Windows. Well, there might be some third-party tools out there, but the advantage you're getting with speed, you will lose with using this emulator anyway. Now let's have a look at the subcategories you have here while choosing APFS format. You have the standard one there, then you have the encrypted, which protect the disk with a password, so it's a good option for some sensitive data you want to keep safe. Then it's APFS case sensitive which is sensitive to file and folder names, so it will recognize differences in file names if you use capital letters instead of a small ones. For example, folders named home and home with big letters are two different folders if you have case sensitive on. And the last subcategory is their combination of encrypted and case sensitive. One more advantage is that APFS or APFS encrypted disk are preferred format for a time machine backup disk. If you select a new backup disk, which is not in this format, you will need to erase it and reformat it. Now we can have a look at the other one, macOS Extended. macOS Extended was the default file system used by every Mac from 1998 until 2017, when APFS replaced it. To this day, it remains the default file system for mechanical and hybrid hard drives. So if you got the standard hard drive, and you intend to use it only in Mac, it's probably best to stick with the old macOS Extended. Yes, it will work with APFS, but you are not getting any advantages of that. macOS Extended actually has some extra subcategory feature comparing to APFS, and it's called macOS Extended Journal. This one will protect the integrity and helps your drive avoid file system corruption during unfortunate circumstances. And then you also have the other combinations like before, case sensitive journal and encrypted. So I believe now it sounds much easier. You know already the differences between these two systems, so let's take a look at the last category. FAT and XFAT is the best cross-platform option. It's designed to work on Windows and macOS systems as well. So if you need to format an external drive to be working on both systems, choose one of these options. FAT format, also known as MS-DOS, works universally with all versions of Mac Windows, Linux, game devices, and any other devices supporting a USB port. One of the top disadvantages of FAT is that it can only work with files that are up to 4 GB in size. I think XFAT is a good option for external hard drive, 
especially for large capacity removable storage devices. So if you have any larger disk, which has a storage over 32 GB, I would definitely recommend to choose this option. If you are looking for a good compatibility between Mac and Windows, XFAT format is the best. So now let's sum it up all with all the pluses and disadvantages of different systems. Let's start with APFS. APFS is a default Apple system. It's great for SSD storages and allows you to have full disk encryption. It's efficient while managing the free storage and it's fast and reliable. But if you are using it in the hard disk drives, it doesn't have much of an advantage. And it actually has a worse compatibility with all the disks and systems. And of course it's not compatible with Windows computers. On the other side macOS Extended, HFS Plus. It's also supported by all versions of macOS. It's the default system for mechanical and hybrid hard drives. And as extra it has a journal subcategory feature, which helps you avoid file system corruption. And it also has the encryption possibility. But with the minuses is no access to permission control. It performs much slower and can crash while dealing with a large number of files. And it's also for data recovery when it's something wrong with it. Now we can jump to the next category which is the compatible one with Windows. The first and older is FAT, which works universally with all versions of Mac and Windows. But as I already mentioned, the best disadvantage is that it can't work with the files larger than 4GB and it doesn't support big drive partitions, which is the biggest advantage of XFAT, which supports all the largest partitions and all file size. But again it's a newer format, so there might be some problems with the compatibility in some old operating systems. And it's not as good option for drives less than 32GB because it can't maximize space utilization. Well, it might sound very scary in the beginning to get used to all of these different letters, numbers and what is it, what are the differences between these formats. But it's not as complicated as it seems. I believe this video helped you to find out what are the differences and now you will know which one to choose when you need to format your disk. Anyway, this is Luke and I will see you in the next video.